What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube banner for free without having to use any expensive programs like Photoshop. So hopefully you guys do find this video helpful. If you guys do make sure to drop a like, let's try to go for 50 likes. And also guys, let me know in the comment section what other types of videos you guys would like to see in the future. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on the first link in the description. And it's going to take you to Pixlr Editor. Now once you're on this page, what you want to do is go ahead and click create a new image. And now what you want to do is uh, for width and height, Make sure you put 2560 by 1440. Select transparent and go ahead and click OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the YouTube banner template. So I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can download it. But once you have finished downloading it, uh, in order to open it up, just go to layer, open image as layer, and go ahead and open up the template. And you should get something like this. Now what this is, it's pretty much going to tell you what's the safe area on desktop and mobile, tablet, and desktop max. So pretty much anything before these lines, uh, you'll be able to see. So we're going to write our text and put our logo and stuff like that. And anything past this, you won't be able to see it like on mobile or desktop. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and add a new layer. So go ahead and click new layer. And that's going to be layer two. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and click on the drawing tool. Make sure fill shape is checked. Make sure the color is black. And make sure that the rectangle tool is selected. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw a square. Up to here. And it should look like this. Now we're going to do the same thing right here on the bottom. And now your template should look like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a background image. Uh, I already chose an image for myself. If you guys want to go ahead and choose a background image, you could go to Google, type in any background you guys want, and just make sure you type in 2560 by 1440 so that the background is the same size as your template. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the image that I chose. So uh, in order to open up an image, go to layer, open image as layer, and go ahead and open it up. If you guys want this image, you can just go to Google, type in Fortnite background 2560 by 1440, and you can choose any of the images or you could choose this image, uh, whatever you guys want. So once that's done, what you want to do is you want to put the layer three under layer two, which would be right under your black border. And now we're going to go ahead and center it. And now if your image isn't big enough, and you still see these squares right here. Uh, you could just go ahead and cover it up with another uh, rectangle. So we're going to go ahead and click on layer two. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and change the color of our background. So we'll go to adjustment, uh, color vibrant, and then bring this all the way to 100. Go ahead and click OK. We're going to go to adjustments again, color balance. I think I'm going to do a blue offset. I'm going to bring it up and you guys can see the colors changing. I think that's good right there. So go ahead and click OK. Uh, adjustment. Here in saturation. I think I'll bring it up to 30. That looks good. The lightness to seven. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and click OK. And you guys can mess around with your image. Uh, you guys could do whatever you guys want. You could add some filters, uh, change the color, or anything you guys would like. So whether you're done changing the color of your background, or if you guys don't want to change it, you don't have to. We're going to go ahead and add our text. So go to the text tool. And I'll just go ahead and click right here in the middle. And for the font, I'm going to go ahead and use Demonize. I don't know if that's how you say it. But if you guys don't know how to download free fonts, I do have a video on how to do that. Uh, make sure to go check that out if you guys don't know how to download free fonts. But once you have selected the font that you want, uh, go ahead and type your channel name. And for the size, we're going to go ahead and use uh, 200. And make the color white. Go ahead and click OK. And I'll go ahead and center it. And I think that looks good right there. 
So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and add our social medias. So if you guys wanna download the Instagram and Twitter logo, I'm gonna leave them in the description so you guys can download it. Or you could just go to Google and type in Twitter logo PNG and Instagram logo PNG, and you should be able to get any of those logos. But once you have selected your logo, go ahead and open it up. You go to layer, open image as layer, go ahead and open up the Instagram logo. And we're gonna go ahead and resize it. So in order to resize an image, go to edit, free transform, or you could just go ahead and click control T. But for some reason, um, control T is not working for me. I don't know if it works for you guys, but you could go ahead and click control T and you'll be able to resize your image uh, or go to edit and free transform. And you should get these little squares around your image. Now, before you resize your image, make sure you're holding shift and then uh, from the corner, resize it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the logo right here. Go ahead and click enter. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Twitter logo. So we'll go to layer, open image as layer. And we're gonna do the same thing. So go to edit, free transform. Make sure you hold shift and from the corner, resize it. And try to make it the same size as your Instagram logo. So I think they're about the same size right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side. Go ahead and click enter. And now we're gonna go ahead and click on the text tool again. And go ahead and enter your Instagram username. So for the font here, we're gonna use American Captain. Bring down the size to 100. And go ahead and type your name. Make the color white. Click OK. OK. Center it. I think that looks good right there. And if your Instagram username is the same as your Twitter username, uh, you could just go ahead and duplicate the layer. So right click, duplicate layer. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and outline our text. So in order to do that, you go to your uh, channel name layer, right click, layer styles, select outer glow, make this black, click okay. Uh, for the hardness, bring it up to 10. For the size, we're gonna do 10, click okay. And you guys can see it looks a lot better now. And we're gonna do the same thing with our logos and our the rest of our text. So for our Twitter logo, uh, go ahead and right click, layer style, outer glow, hardness, bring it up to 10. I think uh, six is good for the logo. Change the color to black, click okay, okay. Alright guys, so once you're done with your banner and you think it looks good, in order to save it, you go to File, Save. Uh, for the format, make sure you select PNG. And go ahead and click OK. Name it whatever you guys want. And go ahead and click Save. And that's how you make a YouTube banner for free. Hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications. So you guys won't miss out on any future videos I post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Listen!